Hi friends, it's Dana here. It is another beautiful fall day and today I want to talk to you all about pumpkins, specifically how many seeds are in a pumpkin because every pumpkin has seeds in it. But each pumpkin is not the same size. In fact, if you look around at pumpkins, some are teeny tiny like this one here. Here, I got this cute little pumpkin. It's just a small one, look at that. And some of them are really big, like my friend Dan's. He had a pumpkin growing contest and his pumpkin was so big, they had to bring it on a forklift to the contest and it actually sort of like oozed out. Not like goo because it was a pumpkin still, hard on the outside, but as it grew, it sort of had to fall into the ground. So it had kind of a funny, you know, shape to it. Like it just sort of laid down and didn't want to get up. <laughs> and so I think a fun thing to do in the fall is to look at all the pumpkins. And even more fun is to guess how many seeds are in them. And if you're making jack-o'-lanterns this year, or if you're done with all of your fall decorations, maybe it would be a fun thing for your family or your classroom or you and your friends to have a contest on how many seeds are in your pumpkins. And then when you clean them out, go and count them and see who is closest. That is what happens in this book. It's called How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin by Margaret McNamara and G. Brian Karras. Let's read it, friends. Here we go. Lots of pictures. Here we go. Charlie liked school. He liked his teacher, Mr. Tiffin. He liked his best friend, Alex, but he did not like lining up to go into school. Mr. Tiffin's class lined up by size, tallest to smallest or smallest to tallest. Charlie was the smallest in the class every time. One chilly fall morning, Charlie was surprised to see three bright orange pumpkins on Mr. Tiffin's desk. One pumpkin was big, one was medium, and one was small. How many seeds in a pumpkin? Mr. Tiffin asked the class. Does anybody know? Nobody knew, but everyone had ideas. The biggest one has the most, said Robert. I bet it has one million seeds. Robert was the tallest boy in the class. The medium one has 500, Eleanor said. Eleanor always sounded as if she knew exactly what she was talking about. The tiny one has 22, said Anna. Anna liked even numbers better than odd ones. Mr. Tiffin wrote down all the guesses on the blackboard. Charlie was very quiet. What are you thinking, Charlie? asked Mr. Tiffin. I'm thinking that all the best guesses are taken, Charlie said. Why don't we open these pumpkins up and see, said Mr. Tiffin. The next day, the kids in Mr. Tiffin's class brought in spoons for scooping and bowls for holding and plastic bags for throwing out. They covered the floor with newspaper. They put on their smocks it's a messy business counting pumpkin seeds, said Mr. Tiffin, but the class was ready. After Mr. Tiffin cut a circle around each pumpkin stem, Kimmy, Alex, and Jake pulled off the caps. The children peered inside. This one, this big one definitely has the most, said Robert. We'll see, said Mr. Tiffin. The pumpkin pulp was slimy and stringy, and the seeds were hard to get out. When the children were finished, there were three empty pumpkins, three full bowls, and 20 messy hands. Tomorrow we will find out the answer to our question, said Mr. Tiffin. Tonight your homework is to think about how we should count all the seeds. 
That afternoon, Mr. Tiffin dried the seeds. The next day, he put them in three paper bags marked big, medium, and small. Did you do your thinking homework? He asked the class. Yes, Alex said, I think we should just guess. I think we should count very, very carefully, said Tara. I think we should count by twos, fives, and tens, said Molly. The class agreed that Molly had a good idea. Robert, Kimmy, and Jake all wanted to count the seeds in the big pumpkin by twos. Anna asked if she could join them. We can be the twos club, she said. They practiced counting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, they said together. Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, Molly, and Alex liked counting by fives. We'll count the seeds in the medium pumpkin, said Molly. We can be the fives club. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, they cheered. I'll take the smallest pumpkin, said Charlie. I guess I'll be the tens club. Good idea, said Mr. Tiffin. Ten, twenty, thirty, Charlie began. Soon there were many groups of seeds in front of each pumpkin. See, said Robert, the twos club has the most. They had 170 pairs of seeds. We have lots too, said Eleanor. They had 63 groups of five seeds and one seed left over. Charlie had exactly 35 groups of 10 seeds. Robert looked at the seeds in front of Charlie. You don't have a whole lot, he said. Let's get counting, said Mr. Tiffin. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, began Robert, Kimmy, Jake, and Anna. It took a long time to count 170 pairs of seeds. My brain hurts, said Anna. The biggest pumpkin had 340 seeds. Almost a million, said Jake. The fives were a little easier. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, chanted Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, and Molly. There are 316 seeds in the medium pumpkin. Too bad for you, said Robert. It's not a contest, said Molly. The tens were the fastest of all, since there were just 35 groups. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, Charlie counted to himself. This can't be right, he said. What can't be right, said Mr. Tiffin. There are 350 seeds in my little pumpkin, said Charlie. That means it had the most of all. So it does, does says Mr. Tiffin. Congratulations, Charlie, said Alex. The tens club wins. It's not a contest, said Robert. Mr. Tiffin told the class to gather around. You can never tell just how many seeds are in a pumpkin until you open it up, he said. But there may be some clues. Take a look at these. The class did. Charlie's is a darker orange, said Anna. And it has more lines on the outside, said Robert. Yep, said Mr. Tiffin. For each line on the outside, there is a row of seeds on the inside. That's good to know, said Eleanor. And the longer the pumpkin grows, the more lines it gets, he adds. Its skin gets darker, too. So even though my pumpkin was the smallest, it was on the vine the longest, said Charlie. Exactly, agreed Mr. Tiffin. When it was time to go home, the class lined up by the door. Smallest to tallest this time, said Mr. Tiffin. Robert was at the back. Eleanor was in the middle. Charlie was at the front. Small things can have a lot going on inside them, Charlie said to Mr. Tiffin. And then they left the classroom with Charlie leading the way. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this book. There's some fun pumpkin facts in this book, and I would encourage you to pick up this book and read it. And I hope you find some pumpkins to explore for yourself. Look how many lines are on this little guy. I think it'd be fun to find out how many seeds are in here. Should I count by tens or fives or twos, do you think? I hope you all have fun counting your seeds when you do it, and thank you so much for reading this fun book with me. Bye.